The community of Gardner wasn't spared from the devastating floods, but there is one place where residents can go to alleviate their stress. The Yellowstone Hot Springs is chock full of soothing minerals, and though they were affected by the floods, the springs are back and open for business. It's a place you might miss if you're not looking for it. It's gorgeous. It's like mountain views, pool views, a spectacular like landscape. Located right off US 89 in Gardner, Yellowstone Hot Springs is owned by Church Universal and Triumphant and has only been open since 2019. The water is actually pumped to us from the Leduc Hot Springs about a mile and a half down the road. It comes out at about 155 degrees. The hot springs has a flow system where the water empties out into the Yellowstone River. So we cannot use chemicals, there is no chlorine, there is no bleach. That means there's a whole new pool every eight hours. But the property wasn't spared from the floods. Their cabins, RV park, and camping sites were hit the hardest. We did lose 13 of our RV sites um, to the raging waters. The hot springs were safe, and the establishment lent out their running water and showers to the residents of Gardner. We also lowered our prices. Um, to kind of help the folks who are suffering in Park County. Right now, it only costs $10 for adults to soak in the springs all day. <laughs> and that's not the only way they're trying to help the community. Mother Nature left us an amazing beach that we didn't have before. So now we are partnering with two different raft companies from Gardner because their landing spot was washed away. There are three pools at the Yellowstone Hot Springs, hot, warm, and cold. Good for visitors like Johanna Lindstrom, who came all the way from Seattle. I really like how they have the hot and the cold pool, and I usually like go in and out of both, and it's really nice to just switch around. They're also the only hot springs that has a Kinep walk in the country. One side's hot and one side's cold. There's um, river rock on the bottom. As you walk from hot to cold, it does what's called pleasant thermal shock. The water shocks the body almost immediately while microcurrents travel up towards the head. This helps stimulate blood circulation. We found that walking around seven times, hot, cold, hot, cold, seven times, by the seventh time, if you have a headache, it's gone. If you have a migraine headache, gone. That's not the only thing unique about Yellowstone Hot Springs. What makes this an exceptional hot springs are the jets. Ronald says the high pressure of the jets combined with the minerals washes away any kind of pain. And while you're soaking, it's a good chance to see some wildlife. We've got bighorn sheep across the river, eagles flying over. Um, elk walking through every day. And visitors have not been disappointed. Honestly, 10 out of 10, and I've been to a lot. Hot beans are the best. And Gardner, Alina Howder, MTN News.